Hello everybody. In this video, we will be talking about the vocabulary that we use when going to the toilet. In another video, we will look specifically at the words used when producing this stuff. But in this video, we are going to take a look at the words we use when we do this. When kids are very young and need to discuss going to the toilet with their parents, they will often talk about doing a number one to produce this stuff or doing a number two for this. Children will sometimes speculate on what three, four and five are, but there's no set agreement. It's just childhood playground debate. Young children will sometimes call this we, spelt W -E, e So you can imagine the fun that English speakers had when Nintendo first released their we. As you get older, you drop the W and replace it, for some reason, with the letter P. And the word becomes to P, both as a noun and as a verb. And this word is the most acceptable word in society for this action and this noun. So if you are in any doubt as to the situation that you are in, use P either as a verb or as the noun. The word that is used by teenagers and those who are older is piss. And this is like P and we, either a noun or a verb. If we use it as a noun, then the verb that goes with it is to take. And the expression is to take a piss. And the A, the indefinite article, is really important here because the expression take the piss means something completely different in English. In medical and legal situations, the verb and the noun change slightly. The verb is to urinate. And you might see signs that say something like no urinating. And the noun is urine. If you are ill, a doctor or a nurse might ask you for a sample, which is a small amount of your pee in order for them to analyze to find out what is actually wrong with you. What? This is whiskey. We also have some humorous expressions if you are a male. So imagine you're with some friends. You can use the expression to see a man about a dog. And in this case, you are the man and the dog is the essential piece of your body. Another expression that we have is to point Percy at the porcelain. Women don't have the same humour when it comes to going to the toilet. So the expression most polite used with women is to powder your nose. This comes from the habit that women often have when they go to the toilet to add or somehow adjust the makeup on their face. An expression that you can use whether you're male or female is to spend a penny. And this comes from past times when you used to have to put a one penny coin into a machine in order to unlock the toilet door. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Bye bye now.